Okay, friends, I am headed out for my second Azure Standard order. I'm taking all the kids with me. This is gonna be interesting. This time I got a lot of stuff, so I'm excited to share with y'all what I got. All right, our Azure Standard order has gotten delayed. The truck will not be here now until later tonight. So, <laughs> feeding the kids in the car we're getting some chick-fil-a and we're just gonna kill some time until we can pick up our order Ta -da! okay guys so I got my Azure standard order or rather my husband got it because they changed the time last night and the kid it was gonna be right at the kids bedtime so my husband he ran out and got it for me and so with Azure that kind of happens sometimes so the truck gets there when it gets there. They have an estimated time that they send you. Um, so like last week, they sent me an email saying it was gonna be 5 p.m. last night. And then the truck driver got into some traffic, so they changed it to six, and then it ended up being 7.30. So that will often happen. You just kind of have to be flexible. And it's helpful if you have friends that are also a part of the pickup because that way they can grab it for you if you're not able to make it. Okay, let me show you what I got. Okay, let's start over here. First, I got some organic yellow popcorn and I am going to use this because um, we love to eat popcorn, but I don't like to buy the bagged kind. I mean, we have it every once in a while, but I like to make it homemade because it's so much healthier for you. The bag kind is just full of all kinds of yucky preservatives. And so I'm also going to grind this. I got an awesome grinder, I'll show it to you, that attaches to my KitchenAid and it grinds up um, wheat or any kind of, you know, kernel. And so I am going to grind up some of that popcorn and I'm going to make like cornbread, make cornmeal with it and make cornbread. Um, I tried to get wheat from Azure because I wanted to grind that. Also, I was gonna get a big like 35 pound bag, but they were out of it, out of stock. So hopefully next month I can grab that. The next thing I got are black beans, organic black beans. I'm gonna just use these. I use black beans a lot for like Mexican food and um, I put them in like chilies and soups. And I'm also gonna try like one night making, uh, like soaking them overnight, putting them in the crock pot and making some kind of just like bean dinner. Because if you saw in my video I did um, about how to save money during inflation, one thing we're doing is having a meatless meal once a week. And so that's why I'm adding some bean, some dried beans to our food storage so that we have easy access to beans anytime we wanna make those because they're cheap. They're filling, they're full of great things for you, like fiber and pretty easy to make. So the next thing I got is brown rice. We eat a lot of rice. I have a bunch that I bought from Costco, but it's not brown rice. And brown rice is just a little bit more nutritional than just regular white rice. So I like to have this on hand for some other of like my super healthy recipes that I make. Arrowroot powder can be substituted for cornstarch and it's a lot healthier for you. So um, I had a little bag of it, I needed a little bit more, so I just picked up this one pound bag of that. And then I grabbed a 10 pound bag of organic unbleached all-purpose flour. I like to use all-purpose flour for my sourdough starter. I normally get it at Costco, but this was just a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. I normally use the King Arthur brand, but um, we'll see how this goes. I'll keep you updated on that. And then I got a humongous thing of avocado oil, one gallon, because I switched from using any kind of like canola or vegetable oil because it is horrible for you. And avocado is such a great alternative. And I am the kind of person, like I was so skeptical about it because I've tried using olive oil and coconut oil to replace like vegetable and canola oil and some recipes and I've just found that it doesn't taste the same. But good news, with avocado oil, I have substituted it in just about all of my recipes, even my baking recipes, and you cannot tell one bit of difference. So I've been super pleased with that. Um, they also always send you with their little sales flyer, which is nice to have. I picked up another gamma lid. This attaches to like a five gallon bucket. 
and I'm going to just grab a five gallon bucket from Lowe's for my soda ash. I'll show you all that in a minute and I'm going to put that soda ash in the five gallon bucket and put this on top. I just like using these lids because they're so much easier to get into than, than opening up a lid off of a five gallon bucket. So quick tip with your food storage. If you are going to store food in a five gallon bucket, it needs to be a food grade five gallon bucket. So with my soda ash, I'm not using that to cook with. I'm just using it for detergent. So that's why I'm going to buy a bucket from Lowe's. But normally I would buy a food grade bucket and Azure does have those. They're not always in stock, but you can also get them on Amazon. I have purchased some from Amazon, but I always use food grade if I'm storing food in the buckets. The next thing I got were some seasonings. I got um, organic uh, cilantro, I got organic black pepper, and I got organic cayenne pepper, and I am not sure if we will ever use this much, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then I got these little candles. I thought they were um, kind of cute, and we needed some more candles, so these are made out of beeswax. They're supposed to be a little bit better for the environment. And then I picked up some more deodorant because this I bought last month, y'all saw, and I loved it. I want my husband to try it, so I grabbed him one. Um, it doesn't have any scent, so it could be for male or female. I got a huge bucket of soda ash. We are <laughs> doing all these home renovations. That's what all the paint is for. But I got this huge 50-pound bag of soda ash. Um, that is the same as washing soda. And y'all know I use homemade laundry detergent. And I use soda ash for that. So now I will have... <laughs> probably a two year supply of soda ash and we'll have to keep buying it off of Amazon. I bought the big thing of baking soda last month, the 50 pound bag of that. Um, so because those are my main, two main ingredients is soda ash and baking soda and then also sea salt. So now I will be stocked up on all of my laundry detergent stuff, which will be great because that is so annoying to have to buy little containers of that every single month. So that is all I got. I hope that that was helpful in sharing all of that stuff. I have been super, super pleased with all the stuff that I've ordered from them so far. And hopefully I'll keep sharing <laughs> these videos with y'all um, as I continue to order from them. But if you decide to order, I'm going to put my link down in the description box below and you can use my link, my, um, my code uh, and type it in and um, it just helps me get a little bit of a discount each month if you guys will use my code. That's it. I appreciate you so much watching this video and I will see you again soon. <laughs>